Simple Simon met a pie man going to the fair. Say Simple Simon to the pie man. Give me your pies. Or I cave your head in. So I woke up this morning, checked my Twitter feed, and what did I find? A new Raspberry Pi has been released with immediate effect. The Raspberry Pi hasn't had a significant upgrade in quite some years now. Um, it seems to have come to a bit of a standstill in terms of innovation, uh, but today everything is different. So first things first, we'll look at the tech specs and what we can expect to do with the Raspberry Pi 4. So the processor has had a bit of an upgrade. We've now got a, a Broadcom BCM2711 quad core uh, with each core running at 1.5 gigahertz. We now have the option of having one gigabyte, two gigabyte, or four gigabyte of onboard DDR. But we've jumped from LPDDR2 to LPDDR4, which is really, really fast compared to what we got on the previous model of Raspberry Pi. We've now got full gigabit Ethernet, champion, great for setting up servers, things like that. Two USB 3 ports, which is fantastic because we've now got really fast data transfer rates. So external hard drives now become a kind of reliable method of loading things into your Raspberry Pi as opposed to what they were previously, which was a bit slow. We've then got two USB 2 ports. We've got the usual array of things such as the 40 pin GPIO header, uh, which is backwards compatible with previous boards, so great for add-ons to the uh, Raspberry Pi. And then th this is this is fantastic. This next bit. So we've got two micro HDMI ports with up to 4 4K 60 FPS supported on both of those. So we can now have multiple monitors. Um, we've got two lane MIPI DSI Display Port and two lane MIPI CSI Camera Port. Nothing particularly new there. Four pulse stereo audio and composite video port. Again, not really uh, anything new. And we now have the ability to watch H.265 4K video at 60 FPS. That is brilliant. This is going to handle pretty much any media that you throw at it now. It's now got OpenGLES 3.0, so that brings many advantages to uh, to the table there micro SD card slot of course uh, for the operating system and data storage and we then have it's now a USB-C connector so we've no longer got the uh, the old style connector that we've had on the previous generations we've now got something a bit more modern and we can now send 5 volts direct current via the GPIO header so I don't actually know whether or not it did that before, but never mind. Um, so you will notice now we need uh, a beefier power supply, so we need a, a minimum 3 amp. So things like Kindle Fire Charger, usually only 2.5. So you will need to get something decent to make sure everything will run smoothly. So just go back to the overview. And we'll have a look at what the Raspberry Pi Foundation are suggesting with the new model. So, very similar form factor, although existing cases won't work simply because the micro HDMI ports weren't on previous models. So, should be some interesting 3D printed stuff going online um, from all the usual suspects. And there is an official Raspberry Pi case um, which is available. To buy there's a video there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that but as you'll see here uh, the suggestion is that it will replace your desktop and they're actually right for the first time in ever you will be able to use a Raspberry Pi for creative tasks that require quite a lot of system resources so I, I wouldn't say you'd be able to edit 4k video on a on an arm processor that would be crazy you, you, you will be able to do it but your rendering will take an awful long time but 1080p content definitely on the picture you'll see um, 
I've put banana on there, you'd have thought they'd have put a punnet of raspberries. That'd have been uh, more amusing, but never mind. But an external hard drive there, so you, you're not really going to be limited with storage here. You could, technically speaking, you could um, attach sort of four um, external hard drives, each with four terabytes each, and you'd, you'd certainly be able to store all of your media on, uh, on this as a server. Which is something that I like to do, as you already will be aware if you've watched any of my other videos. It is, of course, silent and energy efficient, which has always been the case. Um, simply because it doesn't have a cooling system with moving parts. And it runs on very little electricity, so highly, highly efficient. So again... If you want to bring down your electricity bills, uh, then chuck out your old PC and uh, replace it with one of these for basic office tasks, browsing the internet, etc. You will easily be able to get the performance that is required to play 4K video on YouTube. Finally, hurrah! I'm just going to take a quick look at some UK stores to see if there is any stock still available. So the first one we're going to look at is uh, Pie Maroni, which is uh, a really good. Um, Yorkshire based actually um, Yorkshire based business that does stock Raspberry Pis um, they still have the 1 gig version in at £34 and the 2 gig version at £44 unfortunately they don't have the 4 gig uh, Raspberry Pi 4 so um, I'm not going to buy any other than the 4 gig one so it's a bit of a shame I can't get one on day one, but not to worry. I'm sure they'll be getting them back in stock soon. Uh, then we've got the Pi Hut, also great business. Um, they have sold out of the 1 gig model. They've got some stock of the 2 gig model. And they are out of stock of the 4 gig model. So a bit disappointing, but I, I understand why on day one it's going to be out of stock. There'll be loads of people wanting to get hold of this. Um, I will be doing that once um, once it gets back in stock. And just finally, something I found on the on the Pi Hut, something that's not in stock, um, but they've got the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. So this is like literally everything in the box. So you get the Pi 4 with four gig of RAM, the official keyboard and mouse, you get two micro HDMI to standard HDMI cables, you get the official power supply, you get the official case. And you get uh, the official beginner's guide, plus also noobs with Raspbian pre-installed on a micro SD card. So that is literally the kit for if you just want to get one, you want to get up and running without any messing around. Yes, you can buy cheaper accessories, but they don't look as good as what you get from the official store. So that's it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to get one or not. Um, thank you for watching. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, do so. And then you'll be able to see what I do with the Raspberry Pi once I get hold of one.